people. I don't like saying I don't like anyone. And honestly, coming out that show, there's no one I don't like, but he, oh. I knew him. He made me cry on my birthday. Ah? Uh? Yeah. He made me cry on my birthday. What the fuck? Period. I didn't know about this. Period. I didn't know about it until two weeks ago. They usually pick up on everything that's big, but they didn't want to pick up on that one. Interesting. Interesting. Anyway. Yeah, we were bleeding all over the hotel room in Turkey. Fainting around. Fainting. Oh, like, it was well, crazy. Like, there was the blood hell? everywhere. Like, he does things just to make himself look good. Right. And certain things, he doesn't think about other people. Like he, he makes out like he does, you know. He's I don't not think caring. He does. Like he doesn't have a big heart, you know. So certain people that I thought were my friends when I came out, they didn't support me at all. Like I was supporting them or like, right, you know right, what I mean? Right. I, I was there. I saw it firsthand. So it's disgusting behavior. Yeah. Honestly, like if I did the things that they did on Love Island, yeah, I would have been ripped apart a million times worse. Yeah. yeah? yeah. But why? Why do they not get it? I have a Love Island legend sitting with me today and her beautiful rides and die sister. You might as well call me the Love Maggie. Island legend as well. <laughs> because like I've just made it more than half the people that were on the show. So we have Anna and Mandy, guys. Can we clap? Can we clap? Woo! beautiful middle eastern iranian woman and i feel like we don't have any we don't have enough middle eastern representation there's, there's, there's nothing there i no. can't think of like five people it's apart crazy. from you two I can't, I can't even think of any so i think representation yeah. seeing on love island and you know introducing middle eastern person or middle eastern parents and how they want you to do this and conventional marriage and stuff i'm thinking okay cool, cool. this is like a different intro yeah. i didn't see stuff like that and then to see your sister continuously supporting you in interviews throughout yeah and then like dragging people hilarious <laughs> there was that one that i remember there was a video of you dragging jordan with his teeth that's why he's been hiding all his feelings in them gaps <laughs> I was I dying. know you got that fixed. But that's what we're right, like, and we dead. just got each other's back so much. Yes. I've like family is such a thing for mi for Middle Eastern. Very it's, family oriented. Yeah, very family oriented, hundred hundred percent. And you guys are also open books. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. you, you don't have that mix. You either love it or, or you hate it, right? Especially with Middle Eastern people, you don't have that mix of being open. Yeah. Um, so I don't know how you deal with that because that's a lot. Because there must be times where you're like sometimes, sometimes like you know you might post something. Mm -hmm. for your work and your mom and dad be like what are you doing or like oh calm down god. or relax oh my god that happens so much especially at the beginning like when i first posted my first lingerie picture my mom didn't talk to me for a week that Literally. yeah and then they come around but like you still you feel like you've done something yeah. bad but it's your work yeah because it's not normal for people in our backgrounds mate anna have, when have anna was on love island like and she was like kissing half the villa um, yeah. <laughs> Because I don't know what I, I thought she's gonna go there. Like obviously we're Middle Eastern, she's gonna keep it quite toned down. Like she literally got with more guys than anyone on the show, <laughs> and yeah, won the kissing challenge, which was like shamefully, fucking. My mom literally went. She was like chasing my dad around the house with a knife. Chasing <laughs> my dad around the house with a knife, like she was that bad. Wow. When she was watching yeah. the TV. She I literally moved she out. She didn't know what Love Island really was. <laughs> So she had no idea what you're getting to. She didn't really know, no. Well, you went on the best season ever. Yeah. Let's, let's let's be real, because every other season's been dead. It's, yeah, I can't it lie has. To you. I'm not gonna lie. Season six, that winter one, nobody asked for that. Nobody. Nobody asked for that. <laughs> and then season seven, there was a few cute moments, but like, yeah, it was all right. But it that was, was okay. But that was like, it was like, mm, how you know many what I mean? seasons has there been since? Seven. Since two since I'm mine. Right. Look, no. since Caroline passed, like it's just like dead. And yeah, I don't think it works. Yeah. I don't like I don't like Laura a bit more. I don't think she's a good host for the show either. I just I don't. I don't it's not a personal issue. I just think that. It's After not the Caroline, same. It's not the the same, same. Man. It's got like the show's tainted now. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just too weird. Like I don't under, I don't understand it. They need to switch it up some like, Yeah, they need to switch it up. Well, they're apparently they're making it longer. It's oh, gonna be really? ten weeks. No, 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 not and like that. Yeah. <laughs> not and they're gonna move the villa or something like no, that. Those poor no. people are gonna like, have you, this. you need like different channels. I feel like they need to put like you know some old some, people some older people some gay some people, different weights some, like in there some plus yeah, size people in there. in there yeah some like I mean, ratchet in people there. in there like me yes. like, they honestly do because i feel like people like you you were great on the show so i could introduce you to love island legend because <laughs> there were times where i liked you times where i didn't like you yeah i know but that <laughs> you were, but you were being spoken about yeah when we were coming you know on this podcast but I, that's, like, Anna, I swear this guy like chatted shit about you yeah i did yeah. And, like, and i'll say it to your face because i'm not i'm not somebody who's going to shy away from it because you have a lot of people who would either chat shit and then are very nice to your face but you'd rather be disliked or liked as opposed to just I'm being there. I'm not really bothered. You know why? Because I feel like if you put yourself on that show, you're putting yourself up for some sort of criticism as well. Like right. you have to take it. I feel like all this like stepping, like st walking on eggshells about people that are on reality TV. Look, there's a limit. Like don't troll the person, but like at the same time, you can criticize bits and bobs. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's fine. I just, yeah, there were times where I, was, I didn't like it that time that I loved you, but I mm. thought that in overall looking at it, you helped make some of the most iconic moments on that show. Yes. You're asking to be your girlfriend. You're asking to be your girlfriend. No wonder you've had one relationship and you fucked over 100 girls. <laughs> Yeah, 
irrespective of whether people like you or not. I just basically, you being... I was just exactly how I would be on the outside. I didn't see it like I was on a show. I just thought I'm going to be completely me. And the thing is, the thing is, they did edit me in certain ways. So I am right, like that feisty person. But like, I am feisty. It's true. But mm. I have another side to me. It's like an exaggerated version of right. you, basically, right. that show. Yeah, and no one's perfect. Nobody's you know I mean? perfect. That moment where you like stormed over to the guy like and just stuck it on him. That, that was is me. Damn, that was the, oh, the best. The best. The you know, they Island didn't history. actually show how badly I went in on him, by the way. Oh. I'm not hitting on him. I'm just trying you to You tried to tell me today that you like another goal. Two days! Two days! What kind of guy asks your girl to be their girlfriend and two days later they crack on with fucking I'm not I'm not... Oh, so they didn't. It was worse. Yeah, they. Sh they it was actually way worse. They didn't show the whole thing, and they told me off the next day. They were like, "Anna, you went in too much." But that's. But you that, need look, that. Well, look. So. That is, look, I'm not gonna lie. That's me. Maybe it's a bad thing. Maybe I go in but too he much. He said in the interview you know I mean? that he said in an interview like ages ago that he was set up to the or told to do that. Mm. Do you I that? don't know. Or that, am I imagining this? I don't think you get set up or told, but I feel like maybe oh, no, you can no, get no. influenced. Right, yeah. and it's like, but you're still a grown man. Yes, that's what I. Think. And you're yeah, still but he wasn't a grown man. He was quite young, no. He was, I think he was 24, Mandy. That's an adult. You're, you're still a grown, yeah, I'm, you're, you're still a grown man to like, yeah. no, if people can tell you, influence mm -hmm. you, you're right. But like, you can still say yes or no. You see me, I'm not being influenced by no. And how are you asking somebody to be your girlfriend and then 40 hours you're running around doing that? That's that mad. That's a fucking thing that's to mad. me. Like, that's it wasn't, mad. Huh? Even now, you still think that's mad. To me, it wasn't even the fact that like, he was hitting on her. It was the fact that he, it was two days after he asked me to be his girlfriend and he didn't have the respect to come to me first. Do you know that, what I mean? It was the disrespect. Yeah. Oh, that crazy shit he did to ask you to be his girlfriend. Well, you know who I think, but you know who I think was. jumped in the pool. I feel like if a man can do that when he's living in the same house as you yeah like what can a man do in the real you know, world you know what i mean it's mad but you know how i think got away with a lot of stuff on that season of yours who i think is very sly was curtis oh my i God. just okay, think look. that he was like you said something about him being a narcissist i feel like there yeah. are some tendencies there um, and i feel like he didn't get as much blowback you know even like look lucy and curtis if i did the things that they did on love island yeah i would have been ripped apart a million times worse yeah, yeah? yeah. but why why do they not get it Curtis has said his advice to Jordan, which is why he's done it, is pull India before you pull Anna because Anna's going to kick off and then you're not going to have a chance to speak to India. Well, Curtis gave him that advice. Yeah. Did Curtis yeah. actually say that? He's not yeah. saying that. I don't know about this. Wow. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't because they're like always like good at victimizing themselves. Whereas you're like you're standing up to like a strong, independent. Right, woman. right. You know what it is. I it's don't know what it is. All I think is like if I did the shit that Lucy did, yeah. Imagine I was hitting on Tommy you know, a while he's up. literally got a girlfriend. <laughs> a and imagine I did that shit. Like I would, I'd be like the most hated girl in Britain. But Lucy, no, still loved. Do you know what I mean? It, it's also it's also interesting because I've tweeted about this before, where I think that you know. You were also somebody who was seen as aggressive or feisty in that mm -hmm. manner. There was also Mora. Mm -hmm. But I do think that she, her behavior gets celebrated, mm -hmm. whereas yours is seen as OTT or mm -hmm. the top. And there is that difference between, you know, brown black girls going on these reality shows and then you have white girls going on these shows and they're not labeled like that. Or, yeah, you know, I feel like they have a lot of support. I feel like brown black people support each other so well, so strongly. Mm. They ride for each other, like they're down for each other. Mm. Like we, white people stick with their own, they like support each other. Middle Easterns compete. They they bitch. There's they, no space. They judge. There. They yeah. judge. Like, like Easterns don't support each other. They yeah. don't at all. They're it's like, oh, weird, look at it? her. She's uh, shameful. She's on this yeah. show. She's Asian, embarrassed. Asian, all of that or like, whole... she thinks she's pretty. She's fake. Well, we don't have that kind of like support, support. in our community. Yeah. And that's just the same in real life as well. Yeah. How, like, you know, in, in our community, do your neighbours, your fa extended family members, they just, Love they're all like, run, read through gossip, believe yeah. shit. Exactly. Run, especially if you're a public figure, it's on 10. Do you know how many of my followers are at, though? Like it just shows because I don't, I have more Middle Eastern followers though. So yeah. the fact is if I had more Middle Eastern like support, I would have probably got like praised as well. Or you would have felt that presence yeah. and you don't feel it as much. No. And I think there's just that lack presence of, you know, Asian Middle Eastern influences from or content creators in the UK or even musicians. They don't, even the, imp even no the Middle there. Eastern Asian influencers yeah. don't like each other. Like they don't support each other. They're not nice to each There's other. There's nothing there. They hate on each other. Yeah. It's not good to yeah, work on that. Yeah, definitely. Like 100%. Do you like, know why? Because we're, we're raised, together. yeah. We're raised with like a sort of like women judging women, men judging women and like trying to compete mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. that's why that culture is like instilled in them. Yeah. Even in like when you're a kid, like my friend's daughter's a do doctor. What are you doing? It's like from the beginning, it's like a competition. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, especially if you're in this world, it's not conventional. No one knows about it. Oh, that, what no. are you doing? It's weird. Why yeah. are you on Instagram with a lingerie, a bikini? And exactly. just, they run their mouths. And what's what's productive with any of that? Mm -hmm. It's just pressure. Yeah. It's insane. It is very. Now, one thing you said in your interview with Amber, mm -hmm. and I find this interesting because you said that and that 
people have become quite big-headed. Do you know what? I'm sorry, but I actually agree with Anton to an extent. I think that there's a lot of people that do come out the villa and they just think that they're like God's gift and they're like too famous. Yeah. I, I, I hate that. I actually hate that. I'm the same person I was before I went in the villa. Mm -hmm. Once they leave the show. Yeah. And what and what do you mean by that? Like, like, like in terms of like they forget their friends. I feel like or that the people yeah, are with. with me, I don't give a shit if you've got like five followers or mm. fifty million followers. Like I don't care about that stuff. Like I treat people individually, and if someone's my friend, then I'm gonna treat them as my friend no matter what. Do you know what I mean? So certain people that I thought were my friends when I came out, they didn't support me at all. Like I was supporting them, or like right, you know right, what I mean? Right. I no, I'm not gonna let them do that to my best friend. It's not home. I need to talk to her. That's a shocker because you're in there with them. Well, in there, it was completely different to when we came out. Never, ever, ever going to feel the same without Anna. <laughs> it's only a couple of days, but my friend did it again. If I could turn back time, I'd do it all over again just because of you guys. I swear, I would forget. Right. The way I was treated by certain people. Right. So, yeah, well, I do think it definitely gets to certain people's heads. Right. Yeah. And then and I think change. some people change. Some people, they're big headed at first and then they become more like humble. Right. And some people are probably still big headed. Right. Do you know what I mean? Right. She's had my back through absolutely everything that she's been there for me through thick and thin. Love the girl to pieces and did not want to see her go. It's not good. Though. It's not good at all. <laughs> I don't know how, how do you guys deal with, you know, or, you know, you probably get experience as well when you're, you're supporting your sister, going through stuff because, you know, you're going to irrespect that's your sister. Yeah. Period. I mean, I crack jokes like, about, oh, yeah, I'm more like successful than these love artists, but really and truly, it's all banter. Really, I don't actually compare myself to anyone. No, I'm not better than anyone. No one's better than me. Right. And I feel like some people, like, it's, it's good when you make money, but don't let money get to your head. And mm. success isn't really about, like, Instagram followers. Success is, like, how happy you are. Right. That's the real success. Yes, me and Anna don't. Preacher Anna, yes. I mean. yeah. That yes. is though, because that's what I remind myself because I'm just a normal person. Sometimes I get down, you know? Mm. Sometimes I think, oh, could I have done more? I'm a little bit of a lazy bitch, yeah? I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so I'm like, could I have done more? But then I think, and when I speak to Mandy, me, me and Mandy always help each other like through certain things. We talk to each other and we're like, do you know what? We are the richest people ever yeah. because we have each other. We are the most successful people ever because we keep it's each other true. happy. No, it's do you true. know what I mean? So as long as you have, it may not be all your family or some of your family, or as long as you're tight yeah you have each other's back mm -hmm. that was seen throughout on the show whilst you were in there i believe you were like good morning britain or you're doing interviews or oh, bbc no, stuff i was everywhere and i was like, the most and i, I mean, like I the mean, most but that's what i like that you and you always you don't feel like she's in your space and you don't mm. feel like she's in your space like you well, always i know at love island she was like make sure you use my platform to like blow as much as you yeah, can. Make that's sure amazing. you put yourself People out there. People feel like threatened by it. Mirad, you know what? The funny thing is when I came out, the amount she of messages. She was like, put yourself on my bio. Do this, do that. Put yourself on my stories, talking on my stories on my Instagram while I'm in there. The amount of messages I had when I came out of like, why is your sister everywhere with you? Why is Everyone your sister this? Same. Everyone. Since your yeah. sister's a clout chaser. Your sister's that. So I thought, are you guys dumb? Like, that's my sister. Yeah. Are you serious? Like, if whoever doesn't bring their family on, like, I think, what the hell? Like, yeah. I'm supporting my family. That's the number. Number, being, number one priority. You're not bringing your family in. Like that's the whole point. Anyone that like that's actually questions that, I'm questioning them. Like yeah, but they don't I'll, have that. They don't. That's have that what I'm saying. Like it's a refreshing thing to see where you're constantly with your sibling in yeah. any manner, whether it's public or not. Yeah, like you're not. We, you're, you're, you're but we've always been like this. It's not even like a yeah. oh, like she's coming. We've always been like this. Went to the we've same always schools, been uni, like, college, worked in the same. Boots the chemist, like literally, we're oh, always boots. yeah. Boots <laughs> the chemist. Remember on the till, till by till, like because you were a pharmacist. Before right. I was a pharmacist, I was a healthcare assist. I was like on the mm. tills in boots. With me, me and Mandy on the weekends hungover, like till by till. So I'm saying like it's always We've been always like been that. So like I'm saying that. that when it when fame comes into the factor, not one of you changes. We've always oh. shared and money. We've always shared friends. We've always is, shared that is like, very everything. good to see. We literally have one bank account because them. you you never know what happens when money comes in the factor. Some people change. They get re they act no up. They're weird. And the fame happens. Follows happens. We're just so deep between. And it's weird. We're almost like one person. One person, and we're not even twins. And you guys look alike. Like, <laughs> not, and like, not now. You guys are very different. But sometimes you look alike. As well. I don't know how to explain it. Now, I feel like some people are blessed. <laughs> some different. people are blessed with like an extraordinary talent, yeah, or something. Like me and Anna are blessed with this like weird bond. Bond we have. that we have. It's yeah. good. I um, mean, like wherever you're there, you're there. Wherever you're there, you're there. And that's how it should be. Your sisters. You're not. It's not your friends no. you're related yeah. Your siblings. yeah and we share everything like literally but men and shoes we share everything <laughs> we, <laughs> share, we share money we share clothes we, we share fucking knickers we, we have the same friendship literally. circle same friends like it's crazy that's yeah. good that's yeah. honestly good on your season was there anything that happened that we didn't see um like yeah to be honest i had a few arguments with ovi that no one it didn't get aired right um what else yeah like not, a few even, arguments not even just pertaining to you but like anything that you might have seen as well 
you know what I mean? Because you were on, you were on OG. You yeah. were there from the beginning till literally right the, until yeah, the, right the end. Like basically the end. Before the end. Like, Phoenix from the end. So that's why it's like anything that happened. Anything that I could think that was big that happened was like the arguments between me and Ovi that didn't get aired. Um, other than that, no, I can't think of anything that was big. Mm. They usually pick up on everything that's big, but they didn't want to pick up on that one. Interesting. Interesting. Anyway. Um, and then obviously, I don't, that Lucy, you want, we want this stuff was very weird. Do you know what? There's like I'm I'm not the I did not get that. You know, Lucy's blocked me. I don't know why. Honestly, obviously, I was, no I, way. I, <laughs> the only island that blocked me. I don't. But I was just like, okay. I don't like saying I don't like anyone. And honestly, coming out that show, there's no one I don't like but Lucy and Curtis. Interesting. Everyone else, I'm like either indifferent, I like or I love. Yeah. Right. I mean, that, that Lucy you wanted stuff was very weird. And then what was even weirder for me, and I'm gonna <laughs> just say it, is that uh, publicly, like when Mora was sending Lucy flowers publicly it just didn't add up to me like what the hell are you doing i know like this is the situation with racism that you're dealing with and you're trying to like enable it in a weird way mm -hmm. i just thought it was bizarre yeah, and it was. it's just very snidey i hate sn but i love the way people snidey. had like you on his back you behavior know? exactly people had you on his back i couldn't you believe did. it like it was shocking amber did i feel like people were because you have to because you like somebody's mispronouncing your name on purpose not wanting to and you think that this is funny no, and yeah. you wanted to spoke on it multiple times, so it's not yeah. as if anybody. It's not gossip. I was there. I saw it firsthand. So it's disgusting behavior. Yeah. Honestly, like I just I hate. I very much dislike people like that. that yeah. Especially with their ethnic names, they don't want to. That's why I said I think that the only two people I don't like from that show coming out, which is normal, because you can't go in a villa with thirty five people and like everybody. Exactly. The only two Thank people you. that I actually don't like is Curtis and and Lucy. Like no matter what, I just can't. I just can't. Yeah. I can't like you as a person. I just can't. I feel people can't just look people can't see past like the surface on on people's characters does that make sense so like if someone's coming across like a really innocent like nice friendly person mm -hmm. like people just fail to see through that yeah whereas like, i think me and anna can see through that like with little things we can just tell and then kind of person they'll see somebody is. that's a bit more like outspoken and like, just judge it straight away you're sitting there like in front of curtis that time and you're like oh i think you're this i think you're a narcissist and he's like well i'm so sorry about that. Yeah, <laughs> and, like, and people are like oh my god i feel so bad for this guy like such a nice guy like, and screaming. really like he could just be the biggest you just can't see it yeah he was i don't know he was very bad to amy obviously as everybody knows but even he even just post he was stirring things up he's the one that told jordan to do what he did that has nothing to do with me well it kind of does because you gave him the, the advice so in this situation, so if, given if, the wrong if advice, I was your girlfriend, yeah. you would do the same thing. Yeah, like, but then he didn't get any blowback. No, that's of course what he I'm, didn't. That's what I'm irritated by. That's what I was like, mm, got away with just small things like I that. I said one thing to like Michael and I got the biggest blowback and that's I what still I'm stand by what I said. I said at the point you wanted to go on and well, then do this to her. Leave the girl on. Are you yeah. This is where you did accept it though. You did accept it though. You accepted it though. You accepted me. You waited till another girl came in. To make it a thing. And you didn't make it a, I before we left. Away. It was fine. The thing is, yeah, another girl came in. And I moved away. That's you know what I'm not done with this conversation. That's an like absolute that. child. Yeah, That's what I'm shit. saying. You could the whole world can call me a hypocrite, but they weren't there. They didn't see it. They didn't see how different Amber and Michael were to me and Jordan. It was so completely different. And everyone in the villa can see it, but on the outside, it was when I came out and they told me this is like one of the main things you got backlash for. There's a hypocrite thing. I was like, what? I was so confused because inside it wasn't like I felt that. Like I was battling the yeah, world the back, at that time. I believe the backlash strike for you was when it was you versus Obi. That's when. And people were going on a like, what we, but they don't know what's going on. And Why the, though? The because we're like, it's like the outside, yeah. I literally just kissed Ovi, and it was like a few days that I'd been in back in the villa, and I realized. I don't that, think no, it was I you coming back with Ovi. No, yeah. that I went back to Jordan. I think I, I think that is fine as well. I oh, think because I was answer, answering him back, or what was it? I don't I, remember. I think that's I what it was. I think, I think it was the way you guys had the argument that people didn't like how he was trying to say something and you're biting him that you yeah, but I think I going back to oh, Jordan's yeah. fine because you were with Ovi for like three I have, Maybe I do have a problem I think, with not letting people speak though. That's I think, true. Yeah, I think that is where <laughs> it started from. But who cares about that? Because in the long run, half the season wouldn't be what it is if it wasn't for you. Yeah. Period. Are you? The same you're freaking me out. The you're the same freaking me out. The you're freaking me out. Like, who are you? What what you're you? You? No wonder you've had one relationship and you fucked over a hundred girls. You needed time to collect your thoughts because we're not having fun anymore. No. Do you know how fucking bad that sounds? Am I not in time? I'd rather just squash things, to be honest with you. Babe, any, and just and any, end it. You're ending it now? Mm. Did yeah, you think we were together then? No. <laughs> then why is it over then? Yeah. Like there are a lot of m main characters in that show. Amber was great. Yuande was great. Mora was great. You were great. You know, I think you just have to accept like it doesn't make you a bad person People if like you just to, put yeah. a button and let someone I mean, speak. I, you know what I mean? Mm. But like I, I don't think like, you were a, a very valuable asset to that show because even when Michael came back with Joanna, 
uh, you were very much there, wanted to speak to Michael and have a conversation. Oh, Johanna, man. That got heated. But like in post Casa and More Seasons, we don't see any of that. Yeah, because I back my friends and I back my family like like nothing. Like, exactly. I don't care. And people want to, they're just timid. And they the thing is, I, my problem, my issue with Michael wasn't that he came back with Joanna. If you actually listen to the, po- like not the podcast, if you actually listen to the episode, you'll see that I'm saying to him, my problem isn't that you're with Joanna. My problem is that you're blaming Amber for it. Mm. You're gaslighting Amber and saying, it's because you, Amber, you were like this because you were like that. No, just accept that you, you fancy Joanna and you want to, do you know what I mean? That was my issue. Yeah, because before we left to Casamore, he had no issue. I got a lot of shit I mean, for that. Like, saying, yeah. He had no complaints. That's why, that was like, people kept saying like, this oh, shit's going to happen, man. You're locked up into some like. Yeah, but the problem was when place. I came out, everyone was saying she's a hypocrite because she coupled up with Ovi. But the problem yeah, but they're was, not there. Like. You weren't with Jordan for that long. Firstly, I wasn't with Jordan that long. And secondly, my problem with Michael wasn't he coupled up with Joanna. My problem was that he was gaslighting yeah, but Amber. I know, you yeah. still haven't watched your show, yeah? Like, you haven't be- watched it back. Th- no, she hasn't even watched, watched it. that scene back. No, but you don't know. Like, before you went to Casa Moore, yeah. they made sure that, like, the two episodes before that looked like you and Jordan were like Romeo and Juliet. Maybe, uh, it, could have been, yeah, maybe it could have been, yeah? Make more dramatic. It could have been five minutes of the fucking day, but it was zoomed in, like, <laughs> romantic yeah. music vibe because uh, they knew what was going to go down. <laughs> so they made sure it looked like you guys were so solid Maybe. so the reaction from audience would be so like right. what the fuck Maybe. that casamo was crazy vibes to the villa she doesn't take herself too serious which is a massive thing for me and although it doesn't really roll off my tongue i do believe she's beautiful so i've decided to recouple yeah <laughs> like was that pre-filmed or was that all just in one go what do you mean in terms of like the when michael came back with joanna and everyone's faces and the that shot. bit that, yeah what, oh, that bit real. when we came down it's all real no, like no, it's all real it's but did they, did they refill sometimes they reform scenes yeah i know what you mean but no none oh, of that, that was refilmed that when we came back no none because of all your refilmed. faces were insane yeah. like that was, was like shocking though. that was like the best off okay so would you go to love island again um yeah. anna will do anything yeah <laughs> anything i tell her to do yeah i would you know i feel like you need to go on the next season Mate, they would. I feel like they would never. Mandy would probably get kicked out though, straight away. I think I just, would. I think I'd end up like. There's so many things that would annoy me, and I was thinking when I was in there, oh my god, if Mandy was here, she would just she keep on the Yeah, you have to be very patient when you're in there. Very I think I lose my shit. But with these dead seasons, we need people like that. I know. I don't know why they don't put people that are more like crazy on there. Do you know what I mean? Annoying. Like, what is the relationship. <laughs> yeah, but they're scared, innit? Of That's like, what I'm saying. I don't know. They're scared. Really. I mean, but it's not fun. It's not as fun. Like you need people that are like just outspoken, like more like of a personality rather than boring and just that's you know what I mean? I'm saying because I think the relationship with Britain and reality TV is different than America mm-hmm. because people who are outspoken are celebrated there uh-huh. or they progress their careers that's why I always I've been whereas, told so much where, that me and Mandy are made for America yeah here. whereas here you know you don't like them in the moment but then in hindsight whatever you like what they do whatever or you like to be very critical mm-hmm. and project yeah. so that you have a good morality I, f- I think that it's like reality annoying. tv show like producers and stuff they would prefer if someone like their subjects were a bit more controllable yes they don't exactly. want them to be out of control they're they're worried about the repercussions and that's like that's fair play do you know what i mean yeah I whereas in the u.s you have these housewife shows people are throwing drinks doing a madness oh whatever and their careers elevate they were, nini was on glee for example yeah. stuff like that you go on these big shows yeah. and new york from but like, that's life you, as well you know what i known. mean like yeah. there's no point playing it down on tv or like being really like innocent and all perfect oh God, you know what i mean sick of these like, uk sweethearts like, like in, so in real boring. life as a person you've got different sides to you yeah do you know what i mean and you have to show that that's the whole point I it's reality I it's reality i prefer it when people are controversial 100 yeah. percent. it gives you it's like it's enjoyable to watch that's what reality is about they don't want to see you come by our holding hands exactly yeah. they want to see you know you yeah. charging up to somebody because you obviously are somebody out and stuff yeah. like that. Shit. Do you like her? I'm having a conversation. No, no, did you like Because it's more just told me. I never said that a lie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you could have gone and cried, but no, you went up to his face with your gun yeah. fingers like I, that. Yeah, I did that and then I cried. Oh, okay, <laughs> this is a nightmare. No, why can't I be that girl that comes in here and finds someone that really likes me and wants to treat me well? Like, why do I have to be the girl that comes in here and gets tricked into a relationship? Why can't I be the other girl? Yeah, that crafted. came first though <laughs> the fights with Jordan were hilarious that shit was some good TV man yeah. especially at the end when you tried to break it up and you're like wait what you're ending it up mm. <laughs> did you think we were together then no then why is it over then <laughs> closing the book Maybe. 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 It's wrapped. What are you trying to do? Yeah, because he was like, I'm closing the book. I was like, yeah, the book was closed, closed. closed. That's the yeah. moment you went up to that girl. <laughs> like, that shit is hilarious. Like, yeah, And then at the end, when you guys were standing there, leaving the island, 
I think when you guys announced, you're, you know, when you've left the villa and you're walking yeah, out of yeah, your suitcase yeah, yeah, and you're yeah. talking, yeah. Like, that shit is just funny. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's <laughs> funny. When you look back at it, you think this is a yeah. this was a great season. Yeah, Into the future regrets, life. You've hurt someone's feelings. I obviously I apologize you for the way that I've gone about things, feelings. but I don't regret in acting upon my feelings and you should regret everything that I felt in the villa. Yeah, Love Island like, was good then. Like, it was good. Jordan's actually a nice guy as yeah. well. It's actually funny. Like, oh, you guys on good terms? Yeah, yeah do you know that's what? That's amazing. Like, really good. Like, I'm amazing. really good terms with him. I say hi and bye whenever I see him. Like, how are you? Um, But like... Yeah, keep it chill, cordial. Yeah, yeah. I thought, do you know what? In, when you're in that place for so long as well, and like, may, yeah, maybe he was a bit influenced because mm. he did disappear for a few hours before he did that. So oh, like, really? yeah. So Interesting. I just felt <laughs> like there's no point holding on to anger. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's just no point. Yeah, no, he's no actually point. like I'm really friendly guy. Yeah. So I remember I spoke to him, Even I squashed my thing with him. It was like Joe's birthday. When yeah. was it? Ages ago. She's and he was just so like, I don't know. So nice. He is nice. He seems quite innocent. He is, to be fair. And and, my, and Michael, like I'm cool with Michael as well. Yeah, yeah it's all under the bridge now. Like who cares? Yeah. We're all grown adults. Exactly. We're just in the moment. But certain people now. So I'm people the water's <laughs> no, Why would Curtis? Other. Of course Curtis was a weirdo for what he done. But like, I was just, there anything look, else? I don't hate Curtis. I just no, don't like him. I just yeah. don't like. There's no hatred. I don't like him as a person. Like right. I just don't like his, the way he moves. Like, you know what I mean? I just feel like he does things just to make himself look good. Right. And certain things, he doesn't think about other people. Like he, he makes out like he does, you know? He's I don't not think caring. He does. Like he doesn't have a big heart, you know? Fake I lived, with, I lived, I, I lived with him for like however many weeks, right, like seven weeks, him. and like he reminded me OG. so much of my ex, and my ex was like a proper narcissist, and so many things that he did reminded me of him throughout, mm. and it was like, oh my gosh, I don't know. So, as a Middle Eastern girl going into that show, did you have any premonitions that wait, this might not go right for me, somebody might not like me because I look like X Y Z to an extent, or you know, do you think uh, that these weren't huge issues? To be honest, when I went in there, like. At first, I wasn't thinking about anything. I just wanted to just try and enjoy it and be mm. myself. Towards the end, I realized the only reason I was still in that villa was because of the people in there. They kept me in every week and the public weren't keeping me in. And then that yes. started to play on my head. And then I started to think like, why is it that the people outside can't see what the people inside can see? Because the people inside can see- I don't know how you deal with that. That's a lot, man. Mentally, like, that's that's. Then a lot. Then I realized something's wrong. Like I'm either being edited really badly because mm. why can't the outside? Like literally, every week, everybody in there had my back and they kept me in. So what's the? Because what's nobody on? likes like. First of all, you're Iranian. Like you're not. Like, <laughs> you're not Muslim. You come from a Muslim country. Like and you got all this whole fake Kardashian look going on. Like the fillers, the bum, the boobs. Like people just hate on it. Yeah, they, all this association. They don't like. But post coming out the show, the the biggest Love Island ever. Yeah. And you're going to these events and stuff. Like, did you? feel like it's difficult to talk to people who've talked behind your back or other islanders I've spoken to they're like they always tell me oh this person's talked smack about me xyz but then i'm seeing like the vents and they're trying to be besties uh-huh how do i oh, deal trying with to that? be diplomatic yeah or like or whatever yeah. in any right. way like, like, civil okay yes. i'm not like that though like in if i'm not gonna like someone i'm not gonna be all like mm. cool with them face to face and then when i've seen other islanders do that though, that's yeah. what i'm saying okay, yeah I, it's it actually then. a madness they actually bitch about each other and then when i see them together they're in besties. events yeah i've seen it it's yeah. weird it's, it's honestly weird. like mm. bizarre. It's weird, but it well, you have to say hi bye to some people you don't like when you're in this. In hi this bye, but like you're not like different. besties. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, no. You're not Woo-hoo. besties. Different. You're not besties. Yeah. It's just hi and bye. No, hi bye. Hi bye like, is just being like mature. I can hate your guts, but I have to be like, hi, you're all right. Bye. Like, you have to do that. <laughs> no, object, like there were times I didn't like you on the show at all, and times mm. that I loved you, but I'm thinking overall that <laughs> when you look at post seasons of the show, where are people like you? Yeah. Yeah. Nowhere. Mm. Whether you like them or not, it doesn't matter if you're a villain or a hero you're important to the show. Yeah, I you're, have no regrets. And there's, there's 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 like literally no one, there's not much many people doing that. We miss that shit. Mm-hmm. Confronting Michael, saying that you don't like Curtis, um, <laughs> and then, you know, being with Amber and you one day as a little trio, you know. Or well, even when when Maura was going to Curtis before she told Amy, I told them, Lucy and Maura, I was like, that's wrong. Like, you shouldn't have done that to Molly and you shouldn't have done that to Amy. I just literally told everyone exactly what I thought. Like, what well, you told Lucy and Maura what that they did. Do you remember when uh, Maura went to Curtis before she went to tell Amy? She's, that's, that's oh, right. and yes, then I yes. sat there on the beanbags and I told I told Maura I was like that's wrong you should have gone to yeah, Amy first and then I told to Lucy you did the same thing you you went to Tommy before you went to Molly mm. like you can't do that like that's not nice I don't know I thought I found like there were, especially with, back to Lucy I do think some there was one scene where you know she was saying oh the girls I'm not a girls girl mm-hmm. and you Amber and you one day were all trying to comf- uh, you know, comfort her saying we want you and everything but yeah. then she became besties with Maura and it's me it's like you don't want to be friends with girls that are not white that's ha- just the way I see yeah. it also I feel like you have to s- s- force a friendship with someone otherwise you're going to look like from the public that you're this bad person so she has to look like she has friends I'm not accusing of XYZ but I do feel like when you say oh you know I can't be friends with XYZ but then you're besties with girls that are just not black or brown mm. it's questionable 
And yeah. I've been to institutions and schools where I've been with, there are a lot of white racist girls, but it's very passive. That mm. shit ain't in your face. Yeah, yeah. And you question a lot of shit and you question as a person of color, or you think it is because of the yeah, way I look. You can't even prove it. But you can't even prove it. And then some microaggression, then you're thinking, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. And then that example with you one day just to validate it, what everyone thought. Yeah. But That's you know what? Sometimes I think maybe people like, maybe she just gets along with people from like, she relates to them more. Do you know what I mean? Growing up, we were always friends but with her and more are nothing alike. True, but growing up, we were <laughs> always, we were always that's drawn. That's what I'm saying. That's what I thought. Like, mm -hmm. me and you one day and Amber and like the people that I'm friends, like closest to, we're alike. I'm yeah. like, yeah, exactly. You're alike. Maybe okay. she just wasn't like, she, she, was, she wasn't like more. Maybe, yeah, I, mean, I don't know. I have no idea, really. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't, I, was, I love Moral from the show, but when she gave the flowers to Lucy, I think this is very wrong because we're dealing with a very weird she's situation. She's funny on there, 100% really funny, man. Yeah. On the show, she was hilarious. Yeah, and she's, Mora is also very like unfiltered and open. Yeah, you yeah. see people like that. Yeah, she was very unfiltered. She was kind of like, what you see is what you get. Like, you're waking up and you're just dragging Tom every day. Yeah. Like, that shit was hilarious. <laughs> she was funny, yeah. <laughs> like, that shit was hilarious. She Moving on really. from Love Island. Your podcast, This Is In The City, yeah, is very good. Aww. Thank you. Because Thank I've heard snippets of it and, you know, you're talking about sex. You're talking about, you know, how sex is or <laughs> surgeries and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, damn, there's no beat words. You are just letting everybody know. Mm -hmm. Made you guys want to do this, Sisters In The City. Because we firstly, like Instagram, do, we can't show our personalities on Instagram properly. And right. we're just firstly really shit at Instagram. You, no, you're, you're not shit on Instagram. You're shit on YouTube. You oh, yeah, guys yeah, yeah, don't yeah, yeah, upload yeah, yeah. regularly. Yeah. Both. Both of you, yeah. and I feel like it pisses me off because I feel yeah. like there are there is good content, especially with the pharmacy stuff that you initially did and like yeah. what surgeries we have and whatever. Yeah, I know. And YouTube goes hand in hand with people who are very upfront with themselves. I know. We're just very lazy. Yeah. No, I just feel like I'm always busy. Mandy, we're lazy as fuck. Like oh, I had to wake her up this morning and be like, Mandy, get up and get ready. We need <laughs> to go. We're I'm a late wake up as well. I don't, like, I don't I wake up early. We're not we're not hard working enough, and that's the problem. Right. That's firstly the thing, and secondly, like I feel like with Instagram and stuff, it's just very like visual, whereas with a podcast. Cars. it's just what i mean i just feel like there's too much to do like there's <laughs> oh jump on tiktok oh instagram there's youtube <laughs> now there's a fucking podcast no, there's a lot there's then a you lot got to dogs do. to look after you have a boyfriend mandy, you got people, family you got friends it's you got social life people do it though mandy people that These are people, hard i'm not working. joking here. that's people, why i feel like people that are hard like hard on youtube instagram tiktok these people yeah how do you have a life? Yeah, but no, for example, true. how do like, you have friends, For example, man? people do it, Manny, and they're successful. Like Mo Molly, she's on her work, on her right. job. She's, she not, did, she's not going out and getting drunk and like, coming home at five o'clock in the morning on yeah, Friday, Saturday not. nights like she's we not. are. But she deserves it because she's... Do you know what I mean? That's what I mean. Like we we do... What, oh, we're going out Friday. We're going out Saturday. Oh, what are we going to do on Sunday? Brunch. Oh, this <laughs> the other like... We're, we're too busy living our best life. Anna, I don't want to live on a screen. Anna's in new restaurant clubs just with a shisha. Yeah, literally. I don't want to live on a screen though. I want to live in real life as well. Look, I'd rather have less money less success but more happiness in my real life than just have so much money so much success but not have a fucking life yeah. like I can't make time for my mum and dad I can't make time for my friends I can't make time for my boyfriend I can't then be a TikTok star a YouTube star <laughs> yeah, because Instagram it does, it does fucking take star up your life. you have to really I mean, love it it does yeah otherwise you just won't do it but I, I love it to the to the extent to an extent I love my own life as well mm. I like going we're very like sociable like people so I like doing shots Tequila shots. Right. And like fucking sex. And were you guys on music Saturday. videos as well? We do everything. Like, yeah. we've got I Iranian music. Yeah. It was an Iranian music video, so we wanted to support, like, the Iranian. Nice. And you had the shishas there and yeah. everything. Yeah. I, actually, I, I actually tried to get one here, but you couldn't do it. Oh my God, imagine. It would be amazing. Oh, no, no, What's your flavor? What flavors do you just, we just make? Grape and mint, really. Oh, yes! Grape and mint! <laughs> Are you dumb? Are you stupid? We literally do Are you come over. We smoke shisha all the time. Like, I do it every other day. We have, like, four. Oh, wow. I've got three. Yeah, <laughs> get another one now. But which one do you have? Do you have the ones with like the glass or like the the old oh, Kalima more ones? I got two Savakas and okay. one. I forgot what it's called. That okay. one. And you guys make it at home homemade, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Homemade shisha is the best. Yeah. Well, Mandy when she makes, oh, yeah. she's so yeah. Yeah. There's always good. one that's good, one that's shit. Me too. I'm terrible. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm amazing. There's no point in her making it. <laughs> <laughs> but what you were saying about podcasts, Mandy? Why is it that we like podcasts? Because what is it about podcasts? Because it's basically what it is. Is that like, it's like you're in your living room or your bedroom, just having a normal conversation with, that me and Mandy would and have. And it, it comes off like that. Yeah, so Very it's natural. like literally what we would talk about anyway and it's like we're not thinking before we're speaking mm. and it's just very like raw yeah exactly basically do it all day every day anyway me and Anna it's so thought. so and raw and I just thought people can see more of my actual personality and they get to know me more if they listen to that then then they, they, then they'll know what everyone in the villa knew and like what I'm actually yeah. like as a person and you yeah. have the personalities to where people like you or dislike you and you need that 
You need yeah. people to just like. Mate, I feel like half our half our listeners are coming from our haters. Mandy, you know yeah, you need that. that. Mandy Honestly, loves it that when people hate us. I, I find it so strange. When I first came out of the villa and I was getting trod, I was really upset at first. And I'd be mm. like, Mandy, this person said this. This person said that. She was like, Yeah. Look, some of my favorite. <laughs> yeah, whatever you, you, you rather think. take it that way than cry. Some of my favorite uh, celebrities are like controversial, kind of hated, half hated, half love. Like Eminem, Fifty Cent. Like, I just love people like that. Mm-hmm. I love people that I have. Have God, just Eminem got really loved, man. Eminem. Who doesn't love Eminem? No, it comes so with a package. I mean, he's so yeah. controversial. He said a lot of bad things. Like, have you not seen his? Okay, he yeah. said a lot of things in his yeah. songs that a well, lot Kanye of people West hate him. An example, or, like for what he's been in the last Kanye two West, months. I like controversial people. Fifty Cent, like you know, he's mm. such an asshole. Like, but I, I agree with him. Wanna... Do you like Pete or like Kanye? Like that whole situation is too it. Kanye West is literally like my ex-boyfriend. I'm. I understand what Kim's going through. Yeah, I totally understand what Kim's going through, but I don't like Pete. His recent comments resurfaced. About, about being in bed with your wife? No. Um, oh. He he was making jokes about babies. Oh, no. What? what? Yeah. And like how he, a baby was teething to him and he thought it was attractive, but he was joking about it. Fuck I'm thinking, I don't, want you about, I don't want you near my children. What the fuck? Period. I didn't know about this. Period. I didn't know about it until two weeks ago. It was like, apparently that's he's a comedian, disgusting. so it's okay. No, that's not. No. That's not okay. Do not that's joke about babies. Are you dumb? Like no. Like a secret fan, mate. <laughs> it's just misogyny because a lot of men are slags as well, but you'll never hear that word. Exactly. Oh my God, tell me about it. Like, Especially in the Middle Eastern community. Yeah, it's all over the Middle Eastern mm-hmm. community, yeah. everywhere. There's no accountability. None. Yeah. And that's why me and Manny wanted to be like, to represent Middle Eastern women that are just more open about mm. sex as well. That's what on our podcast, we want to yeah, talk about big, sex openly yeah. because Middle Eastern women is like, you have to be a virgin until you get married, blah, blah, blah. It's like, no. And like, they're scared of being sexual. They're always trying to appear like innocent and, and we're just you know, like, pure. Like, why? Just be yourself. Like, Be yourself. Would you guys go back to Iran? Have you been? When, well, we yeah, we've been, now. but we can't now after Love Island. We'll get killed, probably. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Probably, That's yeah. crazy, isn't it? We've been, the last time I went was probably like four, five years, no. five years ago, six years ago. Are you mad? It was like seven years ago, I know. 2016, like six years ago. Yeah. That's crazy. But now we can't go. Really? Yeah. So what would happen? They would just be like, we know who I you mean, are. I mean, it's a risk. Have you not heard about that lady that just recently Nazanin, went? Nazanin, yeah. Nazanin, yeah. Like, she, she was just on a holiday and then the accused her of spying. She's been a Basically, if, you, if you're a, kind of like a public figure or you're like a dual national nationalist, then they probably hold you as sort of like ransom. But right. The, yeah. But the problem is as well that like a lot of the stuff I've done on TV and stuff goes against their... But Iran was regime. never like that, was it? No, uh, Iran, Iranians are the most chilled out in the Middle East. We're like so cool. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, because it only became like the Islamic Republic of Iran 40 years ago. Before yeah, yeah. that, it was like, I mean, there was Very clubs, nice. nightclubs. There was clubs, little, like dress my, however. My mum would wear little skirts. Like, and That's crazy to go through that. It's dictatorship. L- like, yeah. It's been, Especially as your parents to just change. Yeah. So yeah, my they, dad can't go back there. Who definitely, like he had to escape like his execution. Which That's cool. Crazy. What? Yeah. yeah. Listen to our podcast. We talk about it, you know. Yeah. We actually talk about talk the about struggles. About being arrested. We lived in Pakistan actually in India he had to run away literally yeah. he didn't see his son my son, my brother my half brother was in prison but to go through that is mad and the yeah. trauma that you still have now from that yeah. is insane I feel insane. sorry for him I really like feel the, sorry even him. emotional PTSD how your body language reacts to just like yeah. memories my brother was in prison for the first 10 years of his life that's insane he was a kid in prison in, in Iran. You don't hear stuff like this. Yeah. I know. It's mad. <laughs> they had hard lives, didn't they? And we're just like... And then we complain, about, yeah. we like, can, we complain about, about the bullshit about, stuff. About bullshit stuff in comparison to what they were going through. Exactly. Immigration we're and moving country for your children. more grateful all the time Insane. and remind ourselves. Are you single? Or are you dating? Currently, for, since last week, I'm single. <laughs> I'm literally... I'm screaming. Going for a breakup. <laughs> I'm going for a breakup at the moment. I'm I'm, you're lucky you managed to get me out of bed this morning. I'm, I'm literally screaming. miserable. Why did well? You don't have to tell me anything about it, but mm-hmm. like, why did I break up? It was just a very toxic relationship. Fair like we kept arguing and stuff. I don't think he was fully. I don't know. He wasn't giving me what I wanted. What would you say, Mandy? I just feel Almost, like yeah. he's her boyfriend's best friend. Oh wow! Yeah, so it's a bit of I wish she never went there. Which I told her not to go there because now it just made everything awkward for me. <laughs> yeah, <it was laughs> that must right. have been awkward because you guys are always together as well. The second time she's done this. <laughs> yeah, and I begged her, like, please don't get, please don't get involved with his friends. Please don't can't get involved. Help you fall in love with? No, you can't. You yeah, can't. Yeah, you can't. It is what it is. Do you know what I mean? In the right place, right time. Connection. Well, you can bring your best. You bring your boyfriend. And he's got a sexy best mate. I'm going there. Do you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> like if I ever have a future boyfriend, I'm like just gonna keep him hidden from everyone. Do you feel like you ever have to go not compete? But like, do you think guys want you both or like you both? Never never happened ever 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 really never. i feel like we're two we're very quite we're very different. different well our personalities and our looks i think are very different once you get to know us more you'll see yeah but, but we think personalities yeah, but, are different yeah, but and we have different like, types on us, no it's on never us. it's weird isn't it never i feel like you either like me or like anna it's like what's your type kind of thing or you could probably think we're both fit 
But I'm right. more drawn to, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but when I was... I don't look fit right now and it's being filmed, so it's quite embarrassing. <laughs> but no, that has never happened. Like, we have very different types as well. Yeah. I, like, love Middle Eastern looking men. Right. Like... Like that looks a bit like you, Moran. Oh, yeah. Or like Asian, yeah, like, I love a beard. I love Not a Cuban. beard. I like dark hair, beard. Right. That's like my type. She likes white guys. I like white guys. <laughs> you like that's no, your type. I like that weird, like you know, Eastern European looking like kind of thing. You know, <laughs> not the weird Eastern European kind like, of thing. Like you know, he looks like. I don't know. Are you single? As well? Al- she likes Albanian guys, like you know that kind of look. No, I don't like Albanian guys. I like that look. The yeah, Albanian what are talking look. about? Yeah, you know like, that look. Not yeah, yeah, yeah. how many guys. I like, like that look. Could be that like Eastern anyone. European. Like, my look. guy's yeah. like he's not. He's Greek, uh, but yeah. he's like oh, my type Greek. to the T. Yeah. Like to the T. That's Probably. awkward. Yeah. for you. <laughs> that yeah. she's dating. Yeah, I told her. Do don't do get with his friend. Up, right? I told last her last night. He was at his house and stuff. It's just it's a weird. But but you guys are not good. Of course, you just broke up. So you're not on good terms. I blocked him. But she got herself in the situation. I blocked him. Right, so you guys go get yourself out. I blocked him. So you guys up in the situation. She knew it was. She knew that this guy and her were not going to work because he was toxic from the beginning. We were. She hard. knew it was going to be awkward because my guy was friends with him. The thing and he is, was look, be in for like, some girls, life. he might be enough, but for me, he just wasn't enough. Like mm. I'm very like I have like I don't settle for just mediocre. Like you need to make me feel happy and. Stuff. I just feel like it's okay if like the guy's not doing enough, but at least try. At least want to try. You should at least care to try and make your woman happy and please her. If you're not even trying or bothering, then that's the problem. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? The fact that I like broke up with him on Wednesday last week, blocked him and he's not even called me once. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Or even emailed or you. Email, yeah. <laughs> or texted me. We, he could still text. It's Nothing. a WhatsApp block, Nothing. not a text block. Yeah. The fact that he did a text <laughs> and she <laughs> threw him some like massive surprise birthday party like two days, days before. before. Imagine I spent, what, okay, over, that's, that's ridiculous, I spent over a thousand pounds I like did like this huge thing in his restaurant, balloons, cake, catering. Company. Three days before this all. Three ended days up. before, <laughs> and like mad. imagine. You should go out and say three days. Just three three days. Why? Days. Men act like bitches these days. I swear to God, it's like they want to be chased. Well, even now it's like, it's been like that. He wants me. Like they act like literally, literally act like bitches. Like they I know. Be I know. He probably wants me to like chase him, but I ain't doing that. No, yeah. I'm done doing that. Like seriously, I I deserve better. He spent a thousand pound on his birthday, and after three days, he has not reached out to you. Can you believe no. that? Like, oh, okay, she ended it, but, and, but the way she ended, but the it was way so I obvious, ended it, she didn't want it to end. It was like, yeah. please, can you just change? Make, like, like, do this. At least yeah. say, let's talk about this. Maybe I kind of see your point. Let's no work fight. on it. No Nothing. Fight. No, it's like when I express myself, he keeps saying you're arguing. Like, if I just say this is right, like, wrong, I th- I want this. He like, why are you arguing? You're so jarring. You're this. You're that. And I was like, I can't. I'm scared to express myself. So it mm. got to a point where it was like, I'm scared to express myself. This, that, and the other. And then he just didn't. He wasn't bothered enough. Do you know what I mean? He couldn't be. He couldn't be bothered. You so do like, something like that. Are you dumb? Turn thousand pound. You're just not even. Are you stupid? <laughs> not pissed even about that money. Uh, not I even hate that. Call. I hate violations like that. Like, there's no respect. <laughs> no respect. He, I hate he that honestly shit. didn't think. Like, I don't think he. He loved himself so much more. In a way, I rate him. Like I. Yeah. I was like that. Everyone needs to be even more like that. I need to be more like that. He loved himself so much. He's selfish. Like I want to be you a bit. I want to. I want to be a bit more selfish though. There's no self awareness. Really? You lose. You just become. I really, end up lonely. There can't be that much pride in love, man. Hundred yeah. percent. That's one thing you're gonna end up lonely because you're I don't know lonely. what kind of girl. Only a basic, basic girl will settle for what he's uh, willing to do. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Only a basic girl. And like, but part of me rates that kind of person. Like I kind of wish I was a bit more like a selfish. How long have you seen him for? Love if you don't fight for love. What do you mean? Like you fought for it. Yeah, I did. The whole time done, together, I was fight. fighting for it. How long were you guys together for? Well, I've known him for almost a year, but when we actually made it like a thing where we're going to be exclusive was only four months, but it was very okay, intense. Okay, so your birthday yeah? wasn't in that four months either? No, okay, but cool. he, I knew him. He made me cry on my birthday. Ah? Uh? Yeah. He made me cry on my birthday. I think the whole... Well, this is all, a blessing. It was like 10 months since I've known him and like literally... Yeah, in that 10 months, I was literally never... I've never been so emotionally drained as I have the last 10 months of my life. I've oh, never... No, I know, not the yes. <laughs> months. Stop exaggerating. Since I met him. Since you met him, yeah? yeah. You've been emotionally drained by him since you yes. met him. <laughs> well, it's been worse the last four no, months. I haven't, man. I have. I met my guy exactly... 10 months ago. Okay, fine. Exactly 10 months right. ago. Right, I've never been you so emotionally drained. You were fucking dicking around, mate, the first few months. <laughs> I've never... You were in a relationship with your ex the first, like, two months of me. No, 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 not two months, Mandy. Month and a half, whatever it was. Okay, all right, Please. fine. Okay, I've never you been emotionally, so emotionally drained, drained as five, I have the I last okay, right. five, six months. It feels months. like 10 years. <laughs> it feels like 10 years, like, literally, but it's probably... It's been... <laughs> I've never been as emotionally drained as I have the last five months. Well done. Yeah. But it was five drained. It was like having the life sucked out of her. Yeah, it feels like I think she aged. She looked way younger five months ago. (laughs) Yeah, man, he was like, you're giving yourself wrinkles, you're this. Ain't no guy giving me wrinkles, man. But you guys are Iranian, so it's fine. 
I feel like we're fine. They're very passionate. No, but like you're. No, then like we're not gonna age. Not oh, gonna okay. Age. Well, I don't yeah. know, man. If you get in a relationship, like I don't know, she look, she looked way better five months ago. I'm screaming. Yeah, my under eyes and stuff are wrinkling now. <laughs> from this man. <laughs> from this man. From this. <laughs> from this man. <laughs> exactly right. What's happened to me? I've turned into a basic, basic bitch. bitch well, like you also said that in an article that you know you passed away from a, a surgery. Well, I think they kind of like. Did they? Did they? Did you see how I exaggerated up? and said ten months instead yeah. of five? Like I'm very like I exaggerate. So I didn't really die. I thought I was going to because we did think. No, no, no. We thought we were going to die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like we thought we were going to die. Really? No, no, no. So you did this in Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. Well. Yeah. Maybe we did actually think we were going to die. To be fair. Like. What do you mean that? Yeah. At that point. Yeah. We I thought I was going to die. Where we were bleeding all over the hotel room in Turkey, fainting around, fainting like it was well, crazy. Like, there was the blood hell? everywhere, <laughs> all over the sheets, in the shower. Imagine it was oh, terrible. Funny man, it was scary. It was scary. It's actually not funny because yeah, it's, it's, like, oh. it's not. But that's why we opened up about it as well on our podcast because we just wanted to like tell people and like guide them. Don't always go for the cheaper option. I think you're very open with surgery. Yeah. Now we are because of our podcast. I feel like we had to be our kind of like choice and our place to open up about it. Generally. Yeah, now I didn't want to open there. up to it like the sun paper. Yeah, fuck that. There. I wanted to do it in my own time and place. I think that's the best thing to do. Yeah. Like, I was, when I read that, I was like, what the hell? Like, yeah. BBLs or, or I don't know, what was mm. it? A BBL? So guys, if you want to know the long list of surgeries you've had, please list up. <laughs> no, yeah. Sisters in the City will all be linked below. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> Would you have? Would you guys have more surgery? No. Fucking hell, yeah. No. no I'm joking. I don't know no. actually. I would after I had kids maybe get another lift. Yeah, I've had lift. like three boot. Oh, if I, I have, I let kids. it all out here. But you know what? Yeah, my nose is starting to look big these days, man. <laughs> Shut up, man. <laughs> I swear to God, side profile. No, it's not. You got the perfect nose, you idiot. So you guys are fine. God, no. You guys are good. Or maybe like vagina tightening, maybe in the future after you have kids. Right. I don't know how. What, what the fuck? I've never even thought that. Look, you know, surgery, you know, you surgery kids, is a big a part of like Iranian culture. You know, it's a it cent, it's a center of plastic surgery in the world. I Everybody flies to Iran uh -huh. for plastic surgery. The best plastic surgeries in the world, like Beverly Hills, LA, like are Iranian. Are Iranian. Are Iranian. It's true. Yeah. I wonder why it's like that though. Because it's our thing. Mm. <laughs> like it's just our thing. Yeah. It's a bad thing. Like girls and guys in Iran, they get more like they get more girls and guys when they've got like surgery plasters on their face. Like it's, it's actually like weird. A, weird. Like some weird. of the girls in Iran look really weird now. Yeah, I've seen some like pictures. I've yeah. since coming out of the villa though, I've gone more towards like natural looking compared got, to before. Bef when I was in Love Island, I had so many fillers. Like I was dyeing my head jet like dark black. What's like, your natural color? Black. No, my natural color is very black light. Mouse. It's like the top part. It's the top, top part. Like the top, top part of my hair. So I was like, Oh wow. Yeah, I'm really light. Honestly, it's almost blonde. My natural. That's your natural. Color. And that's yeah. She's like really brown as well, and I'm really what pale. So it's like we got different colors, and she got brown eyes, I got green. But um, do your natural color eyes? Yeah. Oh no shit! I didn't even realize. Yeah. You didn't know. Contacts. It was eye contacts. No. What the fuck? I don't know. I just didn't you even really realize. Think I'd let Anna wear eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> so embarrassing. So yeah, like a lot of people do that though. We're, I'm trying to do more. That's weird. Man, I used to man, like, like, like it. Man, I don't know. Like it. I don't know why you have a thing against it. I don't have a She's thing against it. A lot. She just what? thinks that you should embrace your brown eyes, and I think brown eyes are the most beautiful colored eyes brown eyes aren't I it? love brown no 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 eyes. look I'm not against coming on contact lenses I used to wear it when I was a kid and shit yeah like I don't judge little kids when they wear it yeah mm. but like I think if I was dressing up one night and I wanted to do something different like wearing a wig wearing contact lenses or doing some crazy makeup that's or different. outfit that's different like even if I did it in a couple of weeks I went out on a night out and I wore it it's different to people that are wearing it like like it's their own eyes mm. like but why does that why what's the difference between that Mandy and like I, I just feel like eyes are if windows if you're telling you if people to embrace their eye colour then you no, no, embrace no. your bum no 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 <laughs> hold on hold on hold on, hold on. There's, nothing, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it yeah. yeah. There's nothing wrong, there's nothing with, wrong it. with it. I just don't, it's my opinion. It's I don't bit, like yeah. it. I don't fuck with it. Especially yeah. if you get I mean? older as well. And there's loads of people that like, they don't think anything's wrong with plastic surgeries, but they just don't fuck with girls that have it. They don't yeah. like it. Fair enough. And I just think like eyes are a bit different. Eyes are the windows to your soul. If I, if we all had eye patches on right now, we couldn't even have this conversation. We need to be looking into each other's eyes. Right. We're not <laughs> looking at each other's asses. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're looking at each other's eyes. You guys are made for a podcast, which is why you're glad you got your own. Don't stop talking, you know. But that's what you need for a podcast. <laughs> That's what you need. <laughs> like when I have Islanders here, it's always been fine. Yeah. Like the sound engineer was telling me that, you know, sometimes there's guests and yeah. things are awkward or it's forced Is or whatever. It? And I like, I obviously, I'm winging it from my head. I'm asking yeah. questions. I don't, I don't write anything down. Yeah, me and Mandy don't ever I, plan. I, just, I wing it off. Right. I don't really plan like that uh. because I think my confidence is coming from, I just don't mm -hmm. care. I, us three should never like we we end up talking for hours and no, hours and hours and yeah. hours. Yeah, we'll end up because we're, we're like, all, all the UK as well. Yeah. Probably the whole UK. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. But I feel like you need to just, especially when you're, when I'm doing this to the Islanders, obviously some of them I don't see before. I'm seeing mm-hmm. you now for the first time. Yeah. Do you yeah. understand? Like I'm seeing you for the first time. And it's like now we're just here. Yeah. So it's just weird. Yeah. yeah. But like, but like I just, it's easy. Con- it's easy yeah. It's, people find, uh, people have said I'm, I'm easy to just gel with because I just, I don't care. If you don't like me, it is what it is. You're a natural, you Rad. It's just got to be, natural. it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I want to see you guys back on YouTube though. Yeah, I know. We even Amber, I've been telling Amber, I was with her in Dubai last month. And I was like, just do it like once. She's on it now. Well, she's trying she's to be better. on it. She's, she's much better. She's doing now. it once a week now. She's doing it once a week now. And, you know, she, I, she I needs to. I don't know what content are we going to do on YouTube because I'm scared of giving away valuable content that could be on a podcast. That's the issue. You have the split of podcasts and you have the split of. Um, I, I just love podcasting. Do it both. Now. I would say, you, I say film my it. thing, man. I feel like podcasting is my thing as well because it's like you're not worried about the way you look. True, you're true, just true. Talking. True. And for girls, it's easier yeah. because you don't want to put all that makeup. It's, that, that, that takes time. It's just like you just feel so much more like natural. Yeah, I just love it. I could just talk like no, yeah. forever. On that note, guys, thank you so much. This was short and sweet and cute. And oh, I yeah. like that. Thank I you really so much for coming. And uh, Mandy. Thank you for having us. No, 100%. Thank I'm you so honored much. to be in your presence. I feel like both of you guys are just yourselves. Yeah. And I think you need that in this world, mm-hmm. in this career. You take the good and the bad and you deal with it properly. Although we, we don't have much time, but you dealt with, you mentioned the racist stuff as well, as Middle Easters, even post Love Island. And people are throwing these words at you. And I feel like you dealt with that quite well as well. And I think that you were a Love Island legend. Thank like you, you are mm. like there's you five so there's four or five of you yeah. and like even though i didn't like your points or i liked your points you are one of those because if you weren't there half the scenes we wouldn't have gotten thank you and that's just a fact like you ain't gonna forget me <laughs> right it's something we don't forget you we don't forget ambers we yeah. don't forget moras we don't forget you guys yeah. you forget like who was the first one that went from your season callum Callum. yeah so we forget people like that oh, he's sweet, no, do you know what i mean can't, i can't engage with that man no 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 like I lo- no but like we need people who are just mm, yeah do you know like, what I mean? we don't yeah, want to yeah, see boring you. shit like we don't i'm and sorry I, it's true like maybe he didn't have enough time cool but like and anyways let me wrap this up <laughs> three minutes left legends thank you anna thank, thank you mandy ride or die sisters i feel like thank this sibling you. relationship is amazing and you know hopefully more success comes for you guys inshallah thank you so god much. willing and you and as well and you we'll see you guys Aww. soon bye guys bye. <laughs> you guys waving like this <laughs>